Does your dog have cataract? Tula does. These are three new holistic remedies that may help. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Little Tula here. She's a pretty healthy dog, but she has a pretty common eye condition. She's got cataracts. If you look quite closely into Tula's left eye, that's pictured here on the right side of the video screen, it's actually quite cloudy. She definitely has limited vision in that eye. A cataract is an opacity or a white area within the lens. What's the lens? Well, on the very outside of your eye, the surface of the eye, that's called the cornea. In behind the cornea, there sits a lens kind of like here, the lens on my glasses. And that focuses all that light onto the back of the eye. So imagine in behind the cornea, you have a lens, I have a lens. So does Tula, and that's her issue. Right now, this lens is pretty clear. I can see the camera, you can see me. The lens gets cloudy, say from diabetes mellitus. And guess what? I'm not seeing very well out of this left eye. Tula's got the same issue. Cataracts can be congenital, meaning you're born with them. That's what was Tula's condition. She was born with these cataracts. They can be genetic. They can be brought on with trauma, inflammation uh, within the lens, bringing you know, opacity, fluid within the lens. And very common in our animals is diabetes mellitus. So, but diabetes brings all this sugar into the lens, draws in all this fluid, becomes white and opaque. So if this is the condition with your dog, what can you do? There are some supplements you should be considering. These are three options, which actually have studies to back them up. Number one, there's an herbic medicine called Trifala. It's an herbal concoction of three different medicinal plants native to India. It's been used for well over a thousand years. It's composed of the fruits of the amla plant, the bibhitaki plant, and the haritaki plant. It is often used for eye diseases in people, and there are some studies showing its benefits for cataracts. One study found in particular that it delayed the onset and progression of cataracts. We're looking at animal doses as about one to two milligrams per pound twice daily, meaning a little dog like Tula, she'd be getting about a quarter of a 500 milligram capsule, which I have here once a day. So I have taken the liberty to... Tula just ate it. I... <laughs> You ate my tablet. Okay. Meaning Tula would get about a quarter of this 500 milligram tablet once daily. And she likes it because she already ate the first one. Mmm. Who wants a trifala? Mm. Number two, there's a naturally occurring red carotenoid pigment called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a very potent antioxidant. It's got a number of different studies showing its benefit for eye diseases in people. It's also been studied for cataracts. Astaxanthin is what gives fish, say salmon, shrimp, lobster, krill, the kind of reddish tinge. That's the pigment and that's where the beneficial properties are coming from. We're looking at animal astaxanthin doses of about one milligram per 20 pounds of body weight twice daily. Little Tula, she's 20 pounds. She's only about two milligrams a day. The capsules I have here are four milligrams. So I'd be inclined to sort of give her one capsule every second day. Astaxanthin, it's also in krill oil. I have a krill oil supplement, Dr. Jones's ultimate krill oil for dogs and cats. I'll link in the description box below. My third suggestion, it's gonna be a little bit more controversial. Uh, it comes in part from looking at a different review study of different treatments around the world for cataracts. One African country in particular, Tanzania, they actually use a high number of herbal products uh, for eye diseases, in particular cataracts. This is a really interesting one. I'm actually gonna try my own eyes myself. They're feeling a bit dry and sore and there's some science to back it up. Coming from this guy, aloe plant. One 2012 study found that filtered aloe, it had a positive effect on eye dryness, say in KCS or dry eye, also with eye inflammation. In Tanzania, as a treatment for cataracts, they're putting in one or two drops twice a day, 
and to a person's eye that has cataracts. My concern there is if you're just, you know, getting the aloe squeeze out of a plant, you're going to get bits of plant material, etc., into the eye that could be quite irritating. So my preference would be to have it filtered in some way, screens, and you know, you're just getting the pure aloe extract as opposed to anything else that's going to hurt the eye. And I did find in doing uh, my research for the video that currently a company is trying to patent aloe as a treatment for caseyas or dry eye. So there's already been studies. They know that aloe has got some really big, big benefits. We know it's this wonderful anti-inflammatory, so good for many of the skin conditions that you and I and our dogs and cats can get. It kind of makes sense that if you can filter it, you can purify it, it could be beneficial for other conditions. So it may be beneficial for cataracts. So I've poured some of this preservative free, additive free aloe meant for oral consumption, but as pure as you're gonna get into my little dropper vial. I'm gonna drop some aloe, drop it in and tell you how it feels. Hmm, actually feels pretty nice. I mean, aside from the fact that I have tears streaming down my eye, it actually feels nice and soothing. There are three new options to consider if you have a dog with a cataract or cataracts. Obviously talk to your veterinarian first, you know, explore all the conventional options. I'll put a link to those studies, uh, some of the research that's gone into uh, some of those particular suggestions. And I hope one of those potentially helps your dog. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on the Cataract Update. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.